Okay, continuing on here, we've got the um, the little scissors. Okay, this is super important. This is the math tool. So, uh, and the same look, I've got all those same uh, tools you just used. Magic wand, drawing, lasso, gradient mask. So let's say this one, it just draws a square. So the rest of the image is hiding. Okay, it's, it looks like it's gone, but it's still there. It's behind a mask. So you can get back to it if you need to. So if I draw a mask, there we go. Now everything that I drew on um, goes, uh, goes away. Um, lasso mask. Okay, same deal. Uh, gradient mask that see what that does it it puts it out in a, a gradual gradient so it's pretty cool these things and you can pick your different if you want a radial gradient see it fades it out like that so with your mask the biggest thing too you see this if I hit this drop down um, okay hold on let me make a mask here Okay, so my mask is going to be um, there. I can add to it. If I come on this drop down, invert mask. So now I get the opposite of that. Um, let me put that back. Extract mask as a layer. Look, you see what that does? Now I have another layer with just that section. Okay, um, convert mask to a selection. So now I'm just back to the selection here like this. Apply mask or reset mask. Okay, so reset mask, that brings it back to the where, where it was. So remember I was telling you, mask isn't really, uh, the stuff isn't really gone. It's just, it's just uh, hiding for now. Okay, liquefy, basically that just lets you, you see here, you can play with the pixels. I've used liquefy sometimes when people want me to make them look thinner in a photograph. Uh, I don't use it that often. Band-Aid. Okay, let me get this picture of these trees again. Show you what the Band-Aid's for. So the band-aid, let's say I don't want this mark here. So, see as I click, it's got like an artificial intelligence here that it looks at what's around it and it takes it off. So let's say you have uh, your school picture has all kinds of pimples on it. Bam, look at that. You can uh, clean up your skin right there. Okay, so that's what the band-aid is. So you're going to be using that in your assignment, actually. Clone stamp. What this does, okay, wait, sorry, band-aid, yeah, just infill patch. And this, you can change the size. So if you wanted like a big band-aid or a small one, it's up here. Clone stamp. This is uh, useful. All right, you see how this is on source up here? The size of my brush, you can change this, you can change opacity. So source, okay, it's going to pick, I'm going to pick on this uh, part right here. I click this, boom. Now look, do you see it's gone to paint? So it automatically took this, okay, that's my source. And watch, if I come over here, do you see it paints what is there over there? So this works, like let's say I want to get rid of this. Okay, I go back to source. And I get a part here that's clean. Boom. And now I paint. And you see I got rid of it? So that's a pretty useful tool. Okay, I'll do it again. Watch. If I go source, and then I click here. I click right beside it somewhere. And the black thing is showing where I'm getting. There. 
where I'm getting the, um, the original material from. So there you go. That's clone stamp, blur. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory, right? You see it blurring off. You can go smudge, sharpen, brush. Uh, okay, this is for making things lighter or darker. The rest of these tools, uh, vibrant, that just brightens everything up. Like if I color this, um, this should get a little, see it getting a little brighter? The colors are a little more. Um, pens, if you want to draw on something. Same with the paintbrush. Eraser, if you need to erase something. I would not use the eraser. I would use the mask. Okay, if I was you guys. Uh, color replacement. Okay. Let's say, can I get, whoops. Um, let's say, yeah, I'm going to redo. I want to take this guy. Okay, so color replace. Let's say I put it on uh, green. Okay. And instead of a nice blue sky, I want a green sky. Do you see it doesn't get rid of the sky itself? You still have the highlights, you still have the clouds and everything. So it's not like I'm totally painting green, um, but it just gives you that tint. What it's the most useful for is turning people into the Incredible Hulk. Take a picture of someone, Paint their face green like that, and all of a sudden you look like the Incredible Hulk. Okay, fill. That's if you wanted to, like, say I drew a square here, or a circle. Fill. Fill the whole area. Um, I just click on the area. There you go. Funny it didn't fill it completely, but there. Yeah, you just got to go through and fill it. Um, okay. Gradient. You see I've got black and green chosen over here. I'll, here, I'll pick black and red. If I click and drag, whoops, my black and green is up here. So here, we'll pick a rainbow. And uh, maybe I'll make a layer. New layer. Boom. And draw a rainbow here. Look at that. And uh, while I've got this, I'll show you something in your layers palette here. Watch over here. I can go blending mode and soft light. Ooh, look at that. Now it mixes the two of them. So I've got a rainbow in my landscape. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Uh, this thing here is kind of cool. Frame image holder. All right, this is good if you have to do a project where you have you have to have pictures in a squares and stuff. So I drew this frame. I double click, and now I could go get a different picture. So uh, let's get uh, a different photo here. Okay, this one. Okay. So you get your picture inside your other picture. And you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want it to do. And shape. If I click on shape, maybe I'll get rid of that print. If I click on shape here, look at all the different fun shapes. Here's my fill. Here's my outline. So look, if I draw a square, I'm going to get a green square with a red outline. And you see I can increase my outline here. Uh, there's all kinds of custom shapes. This is the thickness of your outline along here. Okay. But you also have custom shapes. So I can take any of these. Oh, look, Valentine's coming up. Boom. Now my shape is a heart. Okay, so anytime I click in here, um, some sort of a weird gremlin looking thing. 
text. You want to add a new text there? Sure. So, text. And look up here. There's your font, your color, your size, uh, format. This is the space between your letters, space between your lines, bold, all that kind of fun stuff is in there. And uh, zoom tool. Okay. Oops. This is going to let me look. You got plus and minus. So plus, let me zoom in. Minus is going to let me zoom out. So we can go fit, fill the screen, wherever you want to do it. And if you're zoomed, whoops, plus, if you're zoomed way in, but you want to see another corner here, you see a little hand? I can move around when I'm zoomed in. Okay, and there's your color pickers. So these ones, you just click on them, pick a color. All right, and that is your toolbar. So pretty powerful program.